when the AIDS came in and, uh, at, the, at that time, people were kind of saying the answer to it is to have condoms and condoms. And as a gynecologist, I knew that condoms aren't 100% safe. There's a very, very, very big risk with them. They can fall off, they can perforate, they can everything. And I felt the only real solution to stopping the AIDS was um, to, to go back to the God's law, if you like, of uh, no sex before marriage and faithfulness in marriage. So the program took off and many young people who were sexually active stopped being sexually active. Others who hadn't didn't start. Tim Jackson here with LSN TV coming to you from the slums of Nairobi, Kenya. We're here today to meet an Irish missionary nun who's led one of the most extraordinary lives that you've never heard of. Sister Miriam Duggan from Ireland, a gynaecologist, led one of the most successful AIDS reductions programs in the entire African continent. She brought the Ugandan HIV rate from 26% down to 5% through abstinence programs. The government adopted that abstinence program and now it's went on to have saved thousands upon thousands of lives. We had a very good result because at the, at the, uh, without us knowing it, because the war was going on in Uganda, we didn't realize that AIDS was even spreading. And by the time we got our first testing machine, it was already 17% in the country. And then um, it quickly began even to rise. So at one stage it went up to 27%. So, but after the, we started the abstinence program and spread it throughout uh, Uganda, the, the level fell right down to 6%, particularly among the young people. So we, we had a lot of support from the, the president and his wife as well, as, because he, he made that famous speech where he said, you know, in the past you told us that our lives depended on penicillin. Now you're telling us that our life depends on a piece of rubber. And he says, that is why I'm calling my people back to our time-tested culture of no sex before marriage and faithfulness in marriage, because that is their cultural value. She was also instrumental in keeping abortion out of Uganda, convincing parliamentarians to avoid legalizing it in a new constitution. So we decided to invite 30 of the um, more Christian um, parliamentarians to a meal um, and that during that meal we gave them input another doctor myself gave them input about abortion and then for their dessert we gave them we showed them the film the silent scream and that really opened their eyes and so we said now it's up to you to go back into parliament and to make the right decisions but what happened within the next week was we I got called by the parliament to go in and address the parliament, which I'd never done before anywhere. So I went in and addressed the parliament, but also with another African doctor, because I didn't want it just to feel that it's European, but it's also, so I had a, a Dr. Pius Kong with me, and we shared, and we gave them all the answers to what, about abortion. I said, the one area that you as women are superior to men is that you can nurture life within your womb. No man can do that. And to my surprise, all the men stood up and clapped, right? And the thing just diffused. But anyway, they never legalized abortion in Uganda. And up to today, it's not legal. Today, she's working with some of the poorest people in Kenya to lift them out of poverty by sponsoring them through college and giving them as much personal formation as possible. Sister Miriam's program today focuses on abortion and the need to protect life in Kenya. At the end of her intensive six-week formation program, these young people who live in the slum will apply to a training college. Sister Miriam will sponsor their tuition if at all possible, and they'll be on the road to building a better future for their entire family. Roughly 75% of young people in the slums are unemployed, whereas 89% of those who go through Sister Miriam's program find gainful employment, free from having to scrape by on the streets of Nairobi. The 86-year-old nun has also had the benefit of seeing so many of her students baptized into the Catholic faith. After going through the faith development, then that's when I started going to church because before I didn't 
want to hear anything about church, anything about good. So that's when I started going to church, and then I I went through catechism class with Sister Miriam. Then I was baptized. Then I am full Catholic. Uh, when you come here, it's totally different. If you move here, you move out straight, grown up spiritually, yes, physically, mentally, yes. When I came here, I was not like this, but now I'm a, I'm a very different person, yeah. They taught me a behavior change process, money management, all those things. Uh, they changed my life personally, because I, I remember I, 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 was, I, was, I was using drugs, yeah. But after I came here, life changed, my mindset changed, I'm a believer, yeah. I was motivated and uh, the biggest motivation was, you see where the place we come from, it is Islam. And uh, we were taught that Islam does not define someone, it's just hard work and prayer. And uh, so far, I also, I feel like empowered, encouraged. I used to see myself as someone who is low, I cannot achieve this, I cannot achieve this. But going through the whole program for two months, I got motivated, I got confidence. Uh, I started to know my priorities, those things that are important, and getting rid of those things that do not matter to my life, do not bring, do not add value. Yeah, I can say that. No, what I would say to him is that if there's anybody out there uh, who can afford to sponsor even one person, it's just know that they're helping that person for life and they're just helping us and we, we can't return the goodness but we can always pray for you for many blessings. And I think people who have done it have been blessed. It costs only $600 for one of Sister Miriam's students to attend college for a whole year. If you're in a position to help with any of that sponsorship, please do so at lifefunder.com forward slash Sister Miriam. But from all of us here in Nairobi, Kenya, thank you and God bless. Thank you.